What's going on, my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? One eye bride back from the PT channel to talk about The Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 15. We got some promo pictures we're going to go over and highlight. It's always a discussion video, guys, if you want to post your comments below. And obviously, spoiler warning, if you don't want to see these pictures, know this information or anything like that. It's not a spoiler video per se, but there's going to be pictures about the episode. And if you're worried about spoilers, stop watching now. I don't want to ruin anything for you. Now, the pictures give a lot away. We're going to talk about Season 8, Episode 15, who Negan picked up. But if you love The Walking Dead like we do, join our Walking Dead family by subscribing to the PT channel. It's easy. Just hit that subscribe button, and I hope you do. Now, first and foremost, this picture right here tells a a lot. Negan and Simon come face to face in episode 815 and it's not going to be good for one of them. Most likely Simon. Negan's not messing around at all. Negan knows what Simon did. Does Simon know that Negan knows about the scavengers and Jadis and everything? Not sure, but Simon and Negan are going to have a confrontation in the episode. We'll see what happens, and I'm very interested to see what happens to Simon. Simon, to me, is the bigger villain of the Saviors. Negan is a complex character. You can see some good traits and some bad traits, but Simon is pretty evil. And I think Stephen Ogg does a great job with the character. We'll see if he sticks around. You can see he's with the gentleman right here. It's actually Gregory. Gregory is back at the sanctuary, and a lot of people are speculating that Gregory is the person that Negan picked up in the car. Could be, could not be. I'll tell you why I think it's not for several reasons, but one main reason in particular. But Simon and Gregory are clearly talking to each other. How did Gregory get there? Hopefully we'll find out. It should be all explained at 8.15, and I hope it is. Negan's having a lieutenant meeting. You see Simon, Gary, Dwight, Arat and another gentleman there, I'm blanking on his name, even though he follows me on Instagram, pretty cool. Negan is going to be in charge once again. Simon clearly is gonna have a problem with that, and we'll see how it goes down. I don't think it's looking good for Simon. Simon's like, oh crap, this is probably his worst nightmare that Negan has come back fine no problems but he's probably recruiting his people here you can see gregory is in that lineup that's why a lot of people are thinking that negan picked him up i don't think so i'll show you why i don't think negan picked gregory up he picked someone else up we have a whole other video about that but i'll highlight that again for sure Dwight's looking on at Simon's plan, and I'm not sure when the timeline of this is. Does Negan already come out and talk to Simon and Dwight and the group, or is it a blind side? I could see Negan using his stealth to his advantage. I'm pretty sure Dwight is looking at Negan on the raised platform while Negan looks down at them, and I'm not sure if Negan comes out of nowhere and just surprises Simon, because Simon doesn't know that Negan is alive. Dwight doesn't know either, but there's other promo pictures in the breakdown for Season 8, Episode 15 that... Dwight comes around smoking a cigarette, and Negan walks down with the seal down the steps. But we'll see another interaction with Dwight and Negan. Now, does Negan already know that Dwight's the traitor, or is he trying to get a feel for it? It's hard to tell from pictures, but we're going to find out some information this episode, and it looks to be very awesome, setting the tone for the Season 8 finale. Dwight it looks scared. He's not sure what Negan knows. Maybe Laura comes back in the picture and she tells Negan everything. So Dwight's going to be in trouble again with Negan. We'll see how it goes down. Eugene is looking at a bullet that they made. But I think Eugene is going to sabotage these bullets. As we saw a sneak peek of Eugene addressing Father Gabriel and the rest of the saviors about making bullets. Here's one of his bullets right there. You can see a raised primer in the back. That is not good. I don't really know bullets and guns myself, but I know that's a no-no is what people are telling me. That's going to cause some problems. It's going to cause the guns to backfire most likely. So Eugene is setting up the saviors for failure, which we kind of thought Eugene would eventually come back to Team Rick. It makes sense that Eugene is not 100% on board with Negan and the saviors. The saviors aren't great people. Eugene is just trying to survive. He eats something out of this bowl as he's addressing Father Gabriel and the Savers, and he's walking up and down, up and down, and saying, we gotta make these bullets lickety quick or lickety split or something. So he's setting up the bullets for the Saviors to be sabotaged, to cause problems. He's setting them up to fail, which is kind of cool. We'll most likely see that in the season eight finale, but Father Gabriel is there helping, and if you look closely at his eyes, he's kind of squinting, and it's kind of hard to tell, but I think he's doing okay. I don't see his eyes as red. Like I said, it's hard to tell in the picture 100%, but I think Father Gabriel is going to be all right. He's going to make it. We'll see what's in store for him for the season eight finale and season nine. Rosita and Daryl are working together, and they actually come in contact with 
Eugene, it looks like. So they're there to take out the bullet maker, but they probably save Eugene. I don't see Eugene being taken out by these guys. And here's a shot of Daryl. I don't think he's really done that much in season eight, the second half especially. What has he really done? He's been in very few episodes, and that's kind of weird. So we'll see if he's got bigger roles in episode 815 and 816. Daryl and Rosita are coming upon a pile of ash and bones and skulls and bodies. And I'm not sure if the saviors just burn they're dead ones or these are walkers or they got a flamethrower or something but the pile looks pretty high there's a lot of ash and bodies and i guess cremations is what this turns into but daryl and rosita are working together to go after eugene and stop the bullets from being sent out i would assume they fail or the bullets get sent away on purpose two walkers coming towards daryl and rosita most likely Daryl and Rosita working together. Do you like it? Do you want them to end up together? Not sure if that's going to happen or not, but Rosita could have another romance. But here's a good shot of Rosita with Eugene. Eugene looks to be all right. Rosita looks kind of pissed. And I could see Rosita wanting to stop the bullets from being sent out. But Eugene lets it go through on purpose because he knows that the bullets will sabotage the saviors. And I could see Rosita saying like, your plan better work, or this better work, Eugene. Then we see Aaron. Aaron's been pretty MIA as well in the second half of season eight. He's been by Oceanside or waiting in the mud and the rain. And walkers he's fighting off here, we'll see. And another sneak peek, you see Aaron fighting off some walkers in the pouring rain. It's probably got to be pretty crappy for Aaron for several reasons. One, because Enid left him. He's all alone. He's fighting off these walkers. He probably hasn't had much food or water, if really anything. He's fighting for his life. Oceanside doesn't want to join the fight. Can he convince them to do it? I like Ross Marquand and Aaron. We'll see if he recruits Oceanside. Hopefully they do. Like if Aaron is there to recruit Oceanside and Oceanside still doesn't join the fight, what's the point of all this? What's the point of even introducing Oceanside or bringing them around possibly again? Aaron's nearly getting bit, but I'm sure Aaron will be okay by the walker and the rest. You see Cindy with some makeshift spear made out of bamboo as the women of Oceanside don't have any guns. Remember when Rick and the group took them and Tara was walking away and Rachel goes, you're not going to leave us any? And Tara said, nope. But Cindy, Oceanside, we'll see them again. We'll see if they come around to be useful. And I hope they do. I don't know what the point of showing them again and again and again if they don't come back around to join the fight. We'll see if they're connected with Sadiq or not, like in the comics, if that happens. But the women of Oceanside come back around. Aaron runs into them. I doubt Aaron is going to be taken out by the women of Oceanside. They're probably like, what are you doing here? We told you to leave. You stayed around. And Aaron does his case again. Kind of recruits them, like what Aaron did to Rick at Alexandria. We'll see if that happens again. Could be a nice callback. Remember, season eight is definitely callback season. Now, a lot of people think Gregory is the person Negan picked up in the car. I don't think so. It could be, but I, there's a picture here from season eight, episode 14 that I'm going to highlight in a second that gives it away that is not Gregory. And also Gregory's at the sanctuary, but he's also at Hilltop in the same episode. So he gets sent away from the sanctuary. I just think he got into a car and drove back to the sanctuary. He left the savior prisoners. Gregory drove to the sanctuary requested Simon. Simon let him in and helped him. But here's the main picture that gives away who it is in my eyes. Now, this is from episode 814 when Negan is driving back to the sanctuary and you see a smaller person with hair tied back in the car with Negan. I believe the woman is Laura. It makes more sense for it to be Laura because Laura could tell Negan about Dwight's actions and how Dwight went against the group and killed their own people. So we'll see if Laura actually gives up. Dwight or Dwight does it himself. But a lot of people think it's Gregory. I don't think it would be Gregory here. Simon and Gregory are more connected. I think Simon has a problem with Gregory being there and Simon kicks him out and Gregory is forced to go back to the hilltop and Maggie locks him up. But again, Negan talking to the person in this scene in episode 814 makes more sense for it to be Laura, how he talked to the person. It wouldn't have been so cordial if it was Sherry. Maybe Gregory, because he was kind of giving some crap and being sarcastic with it. But to me, it makes more sense for it to be Laura, especially that Negan is keeping it a secret and keeping it quiet. That one, he's returned and he knows some information and he's going to be having some fun with this. I think he knows the information and he's going to use it in episode 815 to his advantage. We'll also see Rick reading Carl's letter. And it's pretty cool. We see the opening online and it's nice to hear Chandler Riggs voice as he's reading the letter like Rick is reading it. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice callback or connection with Carl still. 
Rick's clearly leaning towards ending the war, ending the fight with the Sabres and Negan. We'll see how it goes down. In episode 815, if you want to see more about the trailer and opening minutes breakdown, we highlight much more information about it. But I'm excited about episode 815, guys, and the finale, of course. How about you? Post your comments below. Let me know your comments of the promo pictures and who do you think Negan picked up. Become a PT peep and a member of our PT channel. Follow us on Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. PT peeps are my subscribers. We got a lot of good, fun stuff planned for the upcoming weeks and down the road. My live streams are cut off, guys. Some community guideline is something by YouTube, so I won't be able to live stream for a while. But we have a goal of 100,000 subscribers. Let me know your thoughts. We'll have Q&A videos coming up Saturday and Sunday. But as of right now, I won't be able to live stream on YouTube. But remember, guys, believe in yourself. If you can dream it, you can do it.